Okay, students, now we are going to read some of the questions that are in the comprehension check of the chapter that we just read. The best Christmas present in the world. So, as we saw in the chapter, that the author went to a junk shop. So, what did he find there? What did the author find in the junk shop? The author found a 19 year, 19th century old roll top desk. I had already shown you the roll top desk in the video. And in the junk shop, he found that. And it was made of oak. Oak is a kind of wood. And it was in a very bad condition. Next question. What did he find in the secret drawer? What do you think? Who do you think had put it in there? So as he was trying to repair the roll top desk, there was one drawer that was stuck. It was not opening. So he used brute force to open that. And inside that, he found a secret drawer. So he found a small tin box in the secret drawer. There was a paper, paper sellotaped or to its top. Most likely it was put there by Mrs. Jim McPherson herself, who was Jim's wife. And her name and address were on the envelope inside the box. Why was the letter written? What was the wonderful thing that had happened? So why, what was the purpose of the letter? Jim McPherson had written the letter to, her, to his wife to express his feeling at something wonderful that had happened on the day of the Christmas while they were fighting the war with the Germans. Jim wrote the letter to his wife about a wonderful thing that had happened on Christmas Day. The Britishers, the British and the Germans were engaged in a war. Yet, on this day, both the troops met in no man's land and enjoyed drinks, food and also had a football match. Hope you understood that. Now, next question. What jobs did Hans Wolf and Jim McPherson have when they were not soldiers? So obviously, as we know that they introduced themselves not as soldiers, but as something that they used to do originally when there was no war. So Hans Wolf was from Dusseldorf. He played the cello in the orchestra there. And Jim McPherson was a school teacher from Dorset. Had Hans Wolf ever been to Dorset? What did he say? He knew it. Why did he say he knew it? So as both of them were talking, Hans Wolf and Jim McPherson, Hans Wolf mentioned that he knows that place. So he had never been to that place. But how did he know that? No, Hans Wolf had never been to Dorset. Had he had learned all about England from school and from reading books in English. Do you remember what was his favorite book? His favorite book was Far From the Maddening Crowd by Thomas Hardy. You remember I showed you the picture of the, the uh, picture, cover, book of the cover as well. Then the next question. Do you think Jim McPherson came back from the war? How do you know this? Do you think Jim McPherson, had, who had written the letter, and at the end of the letter he had expressed his wish that I will be back and with you, my wife, dear Connie, in the by the time there is Christmas next year? So do you think he came back? Of course, he didn't come back, unfortunately, because the note which was sellotaped to the tin box mentioned that it was the last letter that she had received from Jim. So that obviously means that it was the last communication she had received from Jim McPherson because Jim did not make it out alive out of that war. So we read the answer. No, it is most likely that Jim McPherson did not come back from the war. The note paper sellotaped to the tin box mentioned the letter contained in the box to be the last letter from Jim. This was perhaps the last that Connie had heard from Jim. Although he had expressed his desire to be back home by next Christmas. Next question. Why did the author go to Bridport? So after reading the letter, he closed the letter, folded the letter, he slept and the morning as he woke up, he knew exactly what he wanted to do. He wanted to go and meet Mrs. McPherson and wanted to give her the letter that was so valuable, so precious to her. So the author went to Brett, the author went to Bridport because that was the address where Mrs. McPherson lived. He wanted to give that letter back to her. So do you remember how did he find that address? Because that address was written on top of the envelope in which the letter to her was addressed. 
How old was Mrs. McPherson now? Where was she? Mrs. McPherson was 101 years old. She was in a nursing home in Burlington House. So as he went, the author went to her house. The house was boarded up. It was up in a fire and it had now been abandoned. So he asked the neighbor that where does she live now? So the neighbor obviously knew that and he said the, that she lives in a nursing home in Burlington and she is a bit muddle headed now. The muddle headed means she's confused because she is old. Who do you think Connie McPherson think her visitor was? So as we know in the story, as the author went to her, went to meet her and wanted to give her the letter back, she thinks that it is her own husband Jim who has come back on Christmas day and she says that it is the best Christmas present in the world. So that is what that is the answer. The answer is the first part. Connie McPherson thought that her visitor was her husband Jim. Which sentence in the text shows that the visitor did not try to hide his identity? So he could have easily hidden his identity by as we know that Connie McPherson is thinking that it is her husband who has come back. But he did not try to do that. He immediately went there and said everything, told her everything about how he got that letter. So the sentence is, I explained about the desk, about how I had found it, but I don't think she was listening. And that is, I think, it. That Those are the answers.